My son loves this thing. It is Huggy Wuggy. It's also Kissy Wissy and Endo Bendo or Endy Bit. I don't know, man. Hello and welcome to this episode of Iron Drummer. And today I'm playing a rare, sort of rare, Yamaha Mike Borden signature snare drum. Now, this kind of came through Facebook, like a, a, a post or a tag, whatever you want to call it. And I was able to locate one here in Australia. Most of them have been overseas in okay condition and they're astronomical in price, they're huge. Um, and this one actually went for quite a reasonable price. So I thought I'd grab it, and this thing is basically minted box. Original snare head, uh, drum key, care instructions, uh, instruction booklet as well, which is, I've never seen that before, but anyway. Uh, and this thing is basically mint, as I said, mint in box. Uh, I've always wanted to play one. I've heard great things about them. They call this drum the Yamaha Dark Horse. And this is probably going to be the actual last Yamaha drum I feature on this channel. Um, I only play really primarily drums that you can't obtain anymore because you can't buy them anymore. You, you can buy them used, but you can't buy them new. And the problem with that is basically what I've found um, over the years is that when you buy uh, these kind of drums, uh, I way discontinued is that finding any spare parts is damn near impossible. Uh, I know I searched up, thought, oh, I might get some replacement hoops for it, so some spares, can't get them. Lugs, hard to get. Snare strainer, still available, hard to get and expensive. So um, I might do a little video about, you know, talking about older, um, not vintage as in like the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s and 70s classic drums, but more the, uh, even though just, just the discontinued drums. So anyway, more about this drum. It is down here, so I keep pointing out here. It is a 14 by six and a half, two millimeter copper shell. And the interior of this thing is just amazing. It is, I have to, I'm gonna say, it's pretty, pretty damn sexy. Um, it, the, la, the bottom half of the shell is hammered. So as we know, copper gives a darker tone. So the hammering in the bottom half still, well, has that darker tone to it, but it gives it that slightly darker tone or deeper tone. Also dries it out a little bit more, I found. Now, I have played with this drum a little bit. It's pretty cool. Um, and it features the, you know, the snare strain, all the usual stuff, and the Anton Fig lugs. Here's snare drum on this one. Um, this thing's heavy. I mean, it's, it's surprisingly heavy. I did come across a weird problem with it, though, and I've tried a couple of different heads. Um, Tried, you know, basically all the evidence heads I've got, UV uh, coated, UV2 coated, uh, Genera dry, Genera, just anything I can get my hands on. It gets to a point where the low tuning, it, it, it just doesn't like it. It just, some drums have a really great fundamental low note where you go, yeah, that sounds, that classical, you know, um, cricket bat to the meat pie, fuck kind of sound. This would just get to a certain point and just go, no. Nah. I can't give you any more low notes. It's almost like it goes just way too past the fundamental low note of this drum. Um, having said that, I've played it for a bit. I really like it. The medium tuning with a bit of muffling on it is brilliant. But I will say this, and I've said it before about these kind of drums, they're discontinued, can't get them anymore, parts are hard to get, and it's kind of more of a collector's piece. So, which is a shame, but it is what it is. So less talking, more playing. Um, I'll see you on the other side.
Hey, thanks for sticking around. That low tuning, it's low, it's fat, but it has a dark note to it. I can't, I can't describe it. Medium shooting with some, with some moon gel, even the sock was great. But for me, the high tuning, high, dark underlying tone, and a little bit of dryness with the muffling, just, just perfect. I absolutely loved it. Love the drum, heavy, really more of a collector's piece. Probably won't gig with it. Probably more of a studio thing if I don't decide to move it on. I love it. I have the DW copper coming soon. I love that drum. That drum as a copper drum. Love, absolutely love it. But also has some other DW stuff coming soon. Getting drums right now is hard because shipping is, is terrible. USPS is a shipping to Australia and getting drums out of America uh, is a little bit difficult. So uh, I hope to have some privately owned DW drums coming in this week. I've got one, hopefully, if you let me borrow it. Uh, it's very special. It's a Tasmanian one, but it's different. But anyway, thanks for coming along. Don't forget to like the video, uh, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. You know, like, share, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. I'll see you very, very soon. Go and do some other videos. Go back to some older snare drums, because, you know, you've added too much reverb. Anyway, uh, I'll see you all very, very soon.